Hello, today I am bringing you kind of up to date. It's been a rather crazy couple of days for me. Now, I presently have uh, quite a bit of effect from the Mars and Gemini transit, and it kind of got me into a situation on Facebook that was just rather revealing and almost, you know, my opinion, sad. But what happened was that I was providing information and I became aware of being shadow banned. So I, I wasn't really getting it. It looked like I wasn't getting anybody looking at all at my material. Maybe I didn't do a good enough job. And, you know, there's all this stuff. So at any rate, I did a reading and I'm using uh, the Wild and Numb Tarot. And I just am asking the cards because I think all of us right now are feeling the Mars and Gemini that is going on. So I'm going to use this as a visual explanation for Mars and Gemini. Okay, so Mars and Gemini. And this is where I think my kind of my issue with Facebook really kind of got interesting is that I had this sense that if I continue to let this go on, the shadow banning and and not learn from it. One, my channel's not going to grow. And two, it's it's not good for anybody, right? I'm just making podcasts nobody ever gets to see because it looks like they're not really available. So there's all kinds of little interesting ways they do this. But anyway, I've learned a good deal in the last few days about it. And so I don't want to spend a lot of time on that because it's really irrelevant. I'm probably going to be off of Facebook by the end of this week because I think that I maybe said a few things to Facebook they didn't care for. So I I don't know. I, I, I wasn't impolite. I, I want to say that. I, I don't, I believe in being respectful, no matter who I'm dealing with, because, you know, we're not going to make any progress in our situation presently if we're being disrespectful to each other. Now, you'll notice that as our foundation, we have an eight and it looks like it's colorful lightning. And it's, it's, it's saying that from the sun itself, from from higher up the arrow, this Martian energy, there's a current coming in, Gemini, information. It's going to be explosive. You're not going to be able to contain the information that's going to come forward during this time. And again, at South and, and North Node, information coming forward, we're all going to be experiencing mass information, downloads, you name it. And upgrades. This is in fire. So it's cardinal. It's it's hot, right? And it's actionable. Wands are actionable. Eights are infinity. This looks like it's raining, right? It looks like it's trying to put out the fire. It looks stormy. It it almost looks uncomfortable. But yet in the center, there's light. It's hopeful. <clears throat> it's saying that we're being brought to the light. Now, how can that be? This is kind of miserable. So in the past, we've been at the crossroads, right? We have, we're divided. There's, there's your fire over there, my fire over here. There's, 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 there's my neighborhood. There's your neighborhood. There's my color. There's your color. There's all these divisions, right? There's, you know, I'm this and you're that. And how we divide is so multi-layered. It, it isn't even just cultural or racial. It's, it's in the way we think and the way we even treat our brothers and sisters, our our, our friends, our family. We, you know, it's at the core of all conflict, really, divisionary behavior, thinking that you need to compare and not just accepting that I, I am. I am what I am and I am who I am because you're really truly not comparable to anybody. So in the past, we've had an energy of being in a way at the crossroads what we're thinking how we're feeling just not necessarily working in the in the bigger collective a lot of us feeling divided off alone sad wondering why we're here frustrated with our circumstances our our lack of ability to not live a stress free life and then you see we have this 7 of wands where there's this burning wand in the center i would say that that's interesting. Who, why is that one burning in the center? Is it us? Is it is this how we've stayed connected 
in the universe with the stars, the 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 bigger universe very well could be. I think a lot of times I have felt that we've been stolen from, that we've been misused, that we've been enslaved. Like, you know, a seven, when I think of it, you know, having a head and having a long and skinny body, kind of maybe not real nourished, you know, kind of having to get pulled along because you don't really have the ability to move on your own. So it's, it's sort of thefty to me. I, 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 sevens can be lucky for the person who the seven favors. For the person for whom the seven does not favor, it is not a lucky number at all. So, but then this is broken down into two different numbers. So we're talking some kind of conflict within partnerships. And we are all experiencing this. I don't care who you are. If you have loved ones, you're going through things. Relationships are, are stressful. They're testy right now. People are people are feeling very conflicted. And I find this interesting. And in that sense, I was listening to a podcast and I was wondering how much this actually had to do with anything. And I don't really know, but it struck me as odd that uh, there is a 400% increase in men having heart attacks who had pokey pokies. Now, I'm, I'm not an advocate plus or minus and i'm saying it this way because i just i don't want to be in trouble every time i turn around just because i said something so but if this is true could we emotionally be be being prepared the high priestess for change in our companionships in our partnerships in the way things are done and as this white beautiful beast of confidence sits with her crystal ball and you notice that it's got multiple color within that she brings all of this information with her she holds it in her chest she knows and and where i've been feeling triggered is with the pokey pokies is is males and their hearts so i don't know i mean i don't have any any good information i i was fortunate that i just wasn't eligible for it because of my own stage four cancer situation so you know with with the high priestess involved it's kind of like this there's some stink if you think of the high priestess and the moon this is kind of an interesting way of thinking of it and i had a skunk explain this to me which i i know that you know, for anybody who watches me and knows me, they'll know that that's just part of who I am. But somebody who doesn't know me, I'm, you know, I'm a character this way. But I had a skunk visit me during the day, which is unusual. In addition to that, it was a juvenile skunk. It wasn't a baby. It wasn't an adult. It was a juvenile. And them being out during the day is, is extremely unusual. My dog is like right on the skunk. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, she's going to get sprayed. Oh, my gosh. I, I, you know, I, I don't want my dog to get sprayed. So. I walk up to my dog and I just figure, okay, if I get sprayed, I get sprayed. And this skunk just turns and faces me where I had an awareness where this little skunk was saying to me, high priestess, it's a black and white issue. We put up a stink, but we create really no harm. And that is our moon. That's our subconscious. It's putting up a stink and it's saying there's going to be response in the universe in the metaverse in the world from our own emotional reaction to who we are where we are or what we know and don't know and the level of division and fighting at some point we attract things within the earth like the cracking up of the earth an earthquake okay and i I've been watching shorts and podcasts and, you know, there are people predicting earthquakes and I don't know when or if we're going to have an earthquake. I think that it's entirely possible because as above, so below, as within, so without. And if we are living like our pants are on fire and, and our, and our brains are ready to blow, you know, I don't know what that might be, but you know, Uranus in the second house fixed says there there could be some some earth shattering kind of energy there so that's an earthquake and 
you know, Uranus is famous for uh, Taurus and uh, well, basically aspecting and there being earthquakes. So, you know, it, it is something that, that is worth thinking about. But I'm not here to predict. I'm providing you a reading. And with that, do keep in mind that hitting the like, share, and subscribe is a good idea. Um, leave comments. I'm probably not going to be on Facebook too much longer. I, I'm in all kinds of trouble with them, and I just don't know where this is going to go. And quite frankly, I think Facebook isn't really that great anyway, because it doesn't represent the love I bring. So with that, thank you for coming. Enjoy.